And hi again, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge, and here I am at Art of the Carolinas. You, you've heard me talk about it. We just finished up uh, a Best whole bunch of workshops. Is, um, a little exercise on how to do figures. If I said figures, you're gonna start thinking about, oh, I have to put the hands, the eyeballs, and the nose, no, 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 no. <laughs> now, the reason I like to show you how to do figures, if you put figures in it to an abstract or a landscape, it shows scale, it has human interest, and so when I do a figure, I just do, I practice doing what I call carrots. Simple thing like this, carrots. And you use a big brush, don't use a, a skinny brush. And you know, doing carrots, or the figure, a small head, press down hard on the brush, and as you come on down the bottom of the page, you're done. Make sure you anchor it by giving it a bit of a shadow. And that's your carrot, head, Things like that. And you practice this. Do it over and over. Do a whole row of them. Press down hard, come down to the bottom of the page, and you lift the brush slightly. Always anchor it. Give it another one. Small head, push down hard. Doesn't have to go straight down. Give it some personality. Straight up and down would be a pretty boring person. So give it a wiggle woggle. There's a word for you. Little head, come over this way. Come over this way, back down this way again, and there's your and there's your figure. So having said that, and you practice this on a full page, and it looks pretty. The whole page actually looks pretty cool. And then you'll start doing it with color. And when you start working with color in here, it's even cool too. I'm putting costumes on them now. Yeah. All right. The blue pants, there you go. They're all dressing like golfers now, all these different colors. <laughs> <laughs> but you see how much easier it is to do, put a figure into your landscape. Now there's another one that I call the Rembrandt lighting technique. And that's where I'm looking at a Rembrandt painting. I notice that they didn't have color, but they had contrast. They didn't have colorful clothing in those days. White face, black hats. Look at all that contrast. And then, so you had the white face with the gray collar and black clothing. So it went from white to gray to black. The background's just the opposite. Black to gray to white. Duh. And you end up with something that looks like this. So there's your carrot. So it goes light to mid-tone to dark. And the background, which is just the opposite, light, mid-tone to dark. Duh. Huh? How cool is that? So let me do one of those. Let me do one of those, okay? I'll leave this out here so you can see what we're doing. So after you've practiced doing all these carrots, all right, now let's do it this way. Let's do the Rembrandt lighting. So here we go. I'm going to do it kind of like negative shape painting. So I'm doing the dark part first. Doing the dark part first. Eh? There's the figure, all right? And now the legs. This is got some feet here. I'm gonna <laughs> blend it with my finger here. Okay. See how difficult painting is? It is so complicated. So there's your figure. Dark to light, dark to light. You too can do this in the comfort and safety of your own home. <laughs> 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 and I'm available for children's parties, too. <laughs> right. Dark delight. So practice this a little bit, and then after you practice this, we'll get color using the color theory a little later on. Okay, so let's do a couple of figures. I bet you didn't know you were going to be doing figures this morning, right? Okay. And then we go to put color in it. Now you have a beautiful painting with figures, and you make it all up, but use the color wheel. Still a dominant color. Let's go try that. <laughs> <laughs> so, here is the Rembrandt little sketch I just did. So we're going to start using color. The color I've chosen today will be, uh, let's go, green will be the dominant color. Just like this one, green's the dominant color. I mean, there's other colors in there too, but it's mostly green, right? So this one, we just did the dark to light. So green's going to be the dominant color. This hot pink, pinkish purple, is going to be my focal point color. So I'm going to make sure that goes right in here. And then the two spice colors will be this orange color and this dark blue color will be the two spice colors around here. So here I go. Here I go. First of all, let's put the dominant color in here. Okay. 
for? Is that ever green, huh? Mm. And it can be variations of that green. It doesn't have to be just always that one color green. I'm adding other kinds of greens in here too. Dark greens, light greens. It's green. Put some green down in here. Add some yellow to that green. Add some yellow to that green. There we go. Cool. And I'm adding a lot of white to this down in this area. It's still green. <laughs> Negative shape painting. So it's still my green painting, but look at all the different variations of green in there. Now, focal point happens to be this hot pink. Okay, here we go. Can't miss it. Pretty obvious in this one. He's one of my circus figures, right? <laughs> nice white head over here. Right there. There's my carrot, right? Crazy carrot. So it's still dominant green. Yeah. Now the other two colors will be this orange. I'm gonna make my own orange. Adding yellow, red in here. There we go. Hot pink. Look at that orange. I'm gonna put this orange right next to it. Almost like backlit. Really makes this focal point sparkle. So there's the one spice color. We're going over here to the blue. Get some blue here. I keep my finger on it so keep me in focus. Blue. <laughs> hey, I need all the help I can get. There's your focal point augmented with some spice colors. It's not a very large pain, but it gets the point across pretty quickly. And there you are. That's a simple one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I went from dark to light. Dark to light this way. Now we add the color. Let's do it with this one. Let's try this one. Here's another one. It's mostly all on the warm tone side. There's my carrot. This is one of my circus figures. There's your carrot. It's not exactly the red red that's in the on the color wheel, but it's in the family. So this isn't rocket science here. You can be a painter. So that's mostly green-ish. I'll look at green. Okay, look, this is mostly green. The focal point wants to be violet. Let me mix up some violet. I will put a white to that. Oh. That's a pretty color. Focal point mm -hmm. color. Yeah, that is a pretty color, isn't it? Mm -hmm. okay. Green, focal point. Is it exactly that purple? No, but is it purple? Yes. That's how I'm, I'm, I use this pretty loosely. Now we need to have a little red and a little bit of blue. It's a red. red put it right next to it spice colors boy is this ever going to pop yeah mm -hmm. Woo -woo. put it on both sides like it's a backlit window or something like that oh. that just made that pop right out of that color wheel now we need to get some blue add some blue up in here just a little bit spice colors not a whole lot of blue. Use it sparingly. Use it somewhere else too on the paper. Soften yeah. the edges as they go further away. Love it. Thank you. I'm glad you love it. it turned out pretty neat. So there you are. There's another way of doing this. I mean, it, it just really pops. It made, really made that figure come forward, didn't it? Yeah. Just by putting a little bit of those spice colors around it, behind it. Let's go do some. Okay. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. Boy, did I ever have fun with this class, doing those uh, color combinations. 
And uh, we'll be back at the next year's Art of the Carolinas too, two weeks before Thanksgiving. So sign up early, the classes fill up really fast. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one, I sure did. And back on the road again, and I'll see you next week at the next Bob Blast. Thanks for tuning in.